Hello, my name is Kaylee Powell. I'm the writer of the competition and also the producer of the Light On Showcase with my company Lights Down Productions that I set up in uh, January 2018 to produce female-led new writing. So I was inspired to write the competition because my wedding was affected by the coronavirus lockdown. I was due to get married on the 26th of May in Italy, though I did change it to, to Spain uh, when I was writing the script. And I had so many sort of pent up sort of feelings about this whole idea of waiting for this one day, waiting for your wedding day and all of the planning and the hopes and everything that sort of goes into that one day and then seeing that day sort of pass um, was just really strange and and uh, like I sort of say in, in the actual script and obviously in the piece itself you kind of see this date written down it's on all of your invites, it's on like the documents that you're signing and then all of a sudden it's just here but you're not getting married and you kind of you're locked down and it was just trying to get all of that out into a piece and I knew that it would connect to people because I knew I would definitely wasn't alone in having my wedding affected um, so when I was writing I wrote it quite quickly and then sent it to my uh, cousin Alex Bull who's an actress and she was isolating with her other half who's also called Alex, Alex Middleton and asked if they would want to do this piece. Uh, I wrote it very much with them in mind and I was sort of inspired by uh, this, all of the Facebook pages that I was seeing that was talking about competitions that were being run for people whose wedding were affected by the coronavirus to win sort of um, like personalised glasses and robes and slippers and all those kind of like um, wedding things that you normally have on like the morning of your wedding and I also wanted to write something that was sort of showing my relationship with my other half and the fact that we have been together for so long and have sort of built this kind of second like little language together and all these kind of like cute little in jokes and things and I wanted to sort of show that um, in a piece as well. I've been writing for many many years when I was growing up in the, in the valleys in South Wales I was always writing sort of short stories and poetry and then as I got older I sort of was writing less and less I sort of started discovering sort of filmmaking first so when I went to university it was to do a BA honours in video production of film studies and then when I left uni, I was sort of producing for short films and web series, but I was also working as a casting director for uh, sort of films and uh, music videos and web series. And then I discovered theatre. And then from there, I've just been sort of casting for theatre first and then producing for theatre. So I've been sort of, as I've been getting older, I've been consistently writing less and less. Um, it wasn't until... Um, I think some point sort of last year about a year and a half ago where I suddenly got inspiration to write a play that I've been wanting to write for for a while sort of based on my own life and I suddenly got this sort of um, inspiration to, to write and since then and also during lockdown I've been writing sort of consistently this this full-length play which has sort of ignited that sort of um, need and that like of writing again. Um, so I've been writing that, which is a one-woman show called Loop, which uh, is currently in the process of uh, just sort of got to a sort of a good a good draft, and now it needs to sort of go into a sort of R and D. Um, so that sort of it sort of ignited that spark with writing, uh, which then led. To for me writing the competition, um, so something a little bit sort of shorter and, and punchier. So I've heard of lockdown described as a corona coaster, which I feel is a very apt sort of way to describe it. Um, for me, the first few months of lockdown were quite tough. I am sort of naturally a control freak, so the idea of there being so much that was happening that was out of my control took a while for me to sort of adjust to. 
Um, thankfully, I have, I know that I've been in quite a privileged position in the fact that I've sort of got a roof over my head. I've not been alone during this, this lockdown. I've been um, in lockdown with my fiance and my kitten. And also just because of the joys of the internet, I've managed to stay connected to not just sort of my friends, my family, but also to the industry that I'm part of. And I've been on sort of countless Zoom calls where um, talking to people in the industry, which has actually really inspired me to to actually create the showcase in the first place, hearing so many people talking about digital theatre and using the time and the resources that we have in lockdown to be able to create something. So that is sort of where the inspiration to create the showcase sort of came from. And it has been great to actually do something that has been sort of creative and productive during lockdown. It was quite a surreal experience seeing the piece come to life for the showcase. So for me it's quite a new thing to have sort of people act out my writings. So and then obviously to see that sort of come to life. Uh, so it's definitely a first for me. It was quite weird because I did actually write it in mind um, with my cousin and her other half in mind. So it was quite weird to then sort of get the footage and see them sort of saying the words that I wrote. Um, it's it's quite nice to sort of watch it now because it does sort of encapsulate so much of what I was feeling or what I'm still feeling about the wedding sort of being cancelled and it is quite nice to actually see it connect to so many uh, people who whose wedding have also been connect, uh, sort of affected by the virus but also with my friends and family who may not be able to really understand what I was going through but I could just kind of say just watch the competition and you'll sort of understand what, what I've been feeling. So people can keep up to date with me by looking at the Lights Down production website. Uh, there's a whole page that's dedicated to the Light On showcase and there's going to be a brand new page that's going to be dedicated towards the Light On, the Light On showcase as well. Uh, other than the website, you can also check out our Twitter, we're Lights Down Prod, we're Lights Down Productions on both Facebook and Instagram. And me personally, you can find at Kayleigh Powell on Twitter and Kayleigh Powell 23 on Instagram. And uh, just before sort of end this video, just to say thank you very much for watching the first of this sort of light on the light on showcase pieces. Uh, the second one is coming out uh, this Friday. It's going to be with uh, the writer Vivian C. Lamond, who was the writer of Carnivore, Tantrum Town and Insurgents. So you'll see that go up Friday at one o'clock. So thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.